But this is where I'm up to with the Weisman Noble, as you can see there. Took it apart, looks like it's been completely wrecked. But what I've done to get the cab off, I've took the slack off the, uh, the red and white wires and the black and blue wires that go into the cab. You've got to take that slack off so the cab can move backwards and when it moves backwards you can take off the umbilical cord, the flexible cord which is for the lighting inside the top of the cab. You've got to pull that off the bottom circuit board. That enables the bottom circuit board to drop out from the front and you've got to disconnect the multiple pin socket from the top circuit board. That plugs into the bottom circuit board. Once that's disconnected where you put you pull it down, it disconnects and that top circuit board would slide backwards out of the uh, roll But for it to slide out backwards you've got to undo, you've got to unclip another cable there which was on a little uh, socket which plugs into this white socket here. Once that's, once it, obviously when you unplug that the, the whole board will come out and then you get access to the capacitor which is pretty much destroyed I don't think I can put that one back in I've got to uh, pass this over to my friend now because I haven't got the experts who used to resolder the capacitor onto the ball because it's got a bit of corrosion damage. It's going to be, I've tried it and it's really tricky to put a new capacitor on, so I'm going to pass that over to my friend. He can say go over, insert the, install the capacitor there, I can rebuild it, and I just hope it works when I've done it. I'm pretty confident it will. It's designed to be taken apart obviously in the Weisman factory and uh, put back together in this sort of way so there's no uh, the only soldering you have to do is on the capacitor and there's no cutting wires or anything because of all this, the flex in the wires deliberately put in there so it can be taken apart in the future which is really good so that's that and then at the moment I'm profiling the other roble which is on the layout now, that's a graph for it. It's building a graph for the actual uh, working characteristics when it goes into automation. And that's uh, doing its run now, backwards and forwards up the uh, monitored piece of track. So I'll have the, uh, the working same version of the robot in automation soon. You can see it going backwards and forwards there. And that's uh, that'll soon be on the system, that's all fully working. But saying that, there is a fault on that model as well where the capacitor is making uh, very strange noises when you switch the system off, so I think that one's on its way out as well. But it still works. The capacitor still works all the broken track etc. But at least I know how to change the capacitors on these models now. But the model that I've got which I'm working on, it's over 10 years. 10 years old and I've used it a lot it's always been on the layout and it's always been doing various runs on the layout so that's not bad really and of course you would have to send it back to Weisman for it to be serviced correctly properly by the professionals and I didn't want to send it back to Germany uh, you know the cost, the cost of the post uh, you'd have to do track post on it to make sure it doesn't get lost because it's quite a rare model this one now in this uh, livery well, anyway, I've just thought I'd show that where I'm up to. And thanks again for watching.